Hello. I haven't been able to get out this week because it's the build up to Christmas and it's been really hectic seeing friends and things and today is winter solstice which is lovely, it's the shortest day and um, in fact it will be dark quite soon. Um, so it's just been a bit hectic so I, I thought I'd just use um, this opportunity to answer some questions that people have asked me. Um, how did I get into all of this wild camping and uh, stuff? Well, really, it, it, I've always liked camping and I've always liked to enjoy going out. But I work with technology a lot and I was looking for a way of um, just uh, something different to do other than being stuck at work and thinking about work and working with the computers all the time. And I was watching a Ray Mears programme where he made a Sammy, excuse me, a Sammy knife, um, which was these little nice uh, wooden knives, wooden handled and bone handled knives. And I thought it's something I could do at home, which you know I didn't need a big workshop because I haven't got any space at all. And I got into making these, um, and I made them for my goddaughter, who's uh, who at the time was quite young and. We went camping and doing stuff outside. Uh, and then I started making um, other knives, like, you know, the handles, not the knife, the handle, for um, like the one I use quite a lot. And in fact, I've got another one of those on the go at the moment. So that's on the go with some nice wooden scales, I hope, I'm ready to do a little bit later. Um, so yeah, that's one of the reasons I started doing it, was to actually spend some time with her and give myself something else to do at home instead of just, you know, thinking about work. Um, so I really enjoy doing those because I haven't got uh, a workshop, I just do it in the, you know, in the room with, and the only power tool I have is my uh, electric drill. So everything's done by hand and it just gives me a chance to file and just mull things over and get a bit of escape. But then when I thought I'm making knives, I should really go out and use them. So that's one of the reasons that I started it all and it sort of escalated from there really. Um, just something I enjoy doing. It's a, it's a hobby, making knives and making knife handles. I'd love to make my own blades, but I haven't actually got the space or the... Um, wherewithal to do it. I can't really be, you know, doing knives in a little flat in the middle of London. So one day when I get a workshop or a shed, who knows? That's so uh, yeah, that's why I do it. Ow! Don't bite. Go on, push off. Push off. Rego, will you stop it? My cat is being annoying. Okay. Another question was these gas canisters that I use. Um, how, how many sort of brews do I get from these? I think I must get about 20 from these but the thing with this is I don't uh, count anymore because I've found a device. I have previously made a video about it which is this tiny little I don't know if you can see that adapter which goes in the top of this and it enables me to refill these um, and it works out a lot cheaper because these are about a pound whereas these are about five pounds so these I love it it's a great way of doing it because that way I can do much more stealth camping by just using a little gas stove Um, somebody else has asked me why I don't film at night and in the mornings. <laughs> I do film in the mornings because you can usually tell because I look so rough. But I don't tend to film at night because there's not a great deal to film. Um, I don't usually have a fire at night because it's just safety. A woman on her own while camping is um, can be a bit dodgy, I've just got to take precautions. So what I do is I tend to eat and um, do all the bits and pieces I need to do. 
and don't really do very much at night. I just sort of chill and watch my candle usually. I mean, even during the day, I'll probably just use my little um, uh, hobo stove just to keep everything uh, a bit secret. Unless I'm with other people, and then I'll, you know, have a big fire and, you know, a bit more uh, fun. But if I'm on my own, I, I try and keep it stealthy stealthy as possible and I've just got filth all over me from this. <laughs> should clean that out. So that's why I don't tend to film at night because there's not a great deal to film really. Uh, there's not a lot to see. And plus, you know, it's a hassle filming as well. I mean, in the dark it's quite, you know, tricky. I mean, I don't always film when I go out, but... Um, I would. I'll burn that. Mm -hmm. It's um, funny, I've never made a video about my knife. Maybe I need to do one of those knife porn videos where you talk about all the different knives you use. Right. I am lucky living in London that I've got um, a small fire um, great, which works, or well, it did last winter when I used it, hopefully it doesn't need sweeping. But I just want to have a go and see if I can get one of these cramp balls or a King Alfred's cake to light. So I'm just going to see if I can get a... Ooh. That's why I'm going to Oh, it is, it is, it is. Uh, that was easy. Oh, cool, look at that. I'm going to have a, a fire tonight because it's uh, winter solstice, so I'm going to uh, just put a few logs in and see how this, these go. These are from the wood that I visit, so I'm going to use that as my base. Still burning nicely. Oh, well. <laughs> cool. Ouch. That's hot. 
Right, I'm going to try the same thing um, doing the fire still across the knife. Try that again. Oh, nearly. Oh, yeah, look, there you go. Oh, wow. Okay, so we've got fire on the um, birch bark and the feather stick, so that's going to go, isn't it? Okay, so let's see. Let's put the other feather sticks on top. So get those light. Yeah, this wood is very dry. That's why it's so tough to put some of these in. Okay, so what I tend to do on winter solstice is open my first um, bottle of elderberry. So let's try it. Oh yeah, that's nice. Wasn't a good year for elderberries, but the actual wine is uh, ooh, really nice. Mm, some more of that. Mm. The other thing I tend to do is um, I keep a little book throughout the year that's got sort of drawings and bits and pieces and photos and things to remind me of the year and maps and more drawings and it's quite nice to look back through the book and see what I've been up to really and some you know, photos in there as well, trees and... <laughs> So that's quite nice. I've, I've got quite a few of these little books now. These little moleskins are perfect for it. So that's a nice thing to do as well. And uh, bought myself uh, an early Christmas present, which of course is my favourite thing, you know. Good old bottle of Captain Morgan rum. That's going to be opened a bit later in front of the fire with a mince pie, I think. So I just want to... Um, do a couple of shout outs to um, Funky Prepper who's uh, been having a bit of a rough year so I just want to say keep strong and please keep making the videos um, things will work themselves out, I think they always do I think everyone this, this year in Britain in the UK has had a bit of a rough year um, and also shout out to Armour Cockroach and to Kenneth Cram, very Thank you very much for replying to comments, etc. Uh, I do love your videos. So can I just wish everybody a happy winter solstice and then a happy Christmas and then a happy new year. And then let's hope next year's um, a bit better for us all. Oh well, we'll see. <laughs> okay. And thank you to all my subscribers and with the comments and the um, the likes and so forth. I'm going to try and get out before New Year, but we'll see. Okay, happy Christmas, everyone. Bye-bye.